Um, live streaming is not new in China, but it's been used like never before. There's a lot, there's not only an increase in the number of users, but the brand using it and the types of people broadcasting it. So the major factor driving this increase in live streaming is that department stores have been totally, totally emptied out by coronavirus. Retailers and brands have to shift tactics in order to recover their sales. So where are the brands live streaming the most? Alibaba, of course, which owns Tmall and Taobao, has been the long-term leader. 70% of the shopper report using live streaming function in Alibaba, and live streaming directly contributes Alibaba's immense sales. But how live streaming look is changing? I'll go into more details in a second, but here are the important things that you need to understand. First, Live streaming was dominated by Wang Hong, the Chinese influencers who also run their online stores, but now the cast are expanding. And second, both big and small brands are finding new ways to reach multi customers with live streams. Live streaming has proven to be most mobile fun friendly, especially for younger shoppers. So after the coronavirus outbreak, Alibaba hosted its very first live streamed online shopping festival from March 21st to March 27th. And more than 10K brands have participated by streaming from their offline store, which were emptied out due to the coronavirus. And they discounted products by up to 70%. And another example of expanding into new live streaming platform is WeChat. WeChat is new to this, but what WeChat live streaming makes more attractive is it allows invite only through chat. So um, builder advisors from department stores are taking advantage of the channel to invite their best loyal customers through QR codes and offer them significant discounts, which gives them a um, sense of the intimacy with the consumers. And also, WeChat Pay is built in, so it makes transaction way easier to complete. Lastly, other than Alibaba or WeChat, but also Pinguan and the, the Xiaongshu are emerging, and brands are embracing them for the specific benefit they offer for reaching out to customers during the pandemic. And it's not only about expanding into platform, but also expanding into the live streamers. Up until now, most live streamers have been Wang Hong or influencers, as I mentioned before, and Alibaba and use videos to connect with customers. Um, now we're seeing live streamers from department stores, beauty advisors to cosmetic company CEOs playing becoming on camera talent. And this actually brings out a very interesting result. So during the pandemic, every brand are on live streaming. And you might be wondering who's the winner of this. And here are the three brands who had one of the biggest sales growth in March. So L'Oreal sales was up by 110% and after Lauder, which sells up by 133% and Boris Cabot, a Chinese local brand that I'll discuss later on, was up by 60% in March versus the February of 2020. And it's Especially worth pointing out that as Loader's flagship store began live streaming and their gross merchandise volume was 30 times higher than the regular days. So it's, it's quite impressive. And the first cabin, the brand that I just mentioned, it's a great example of how brand is using live streaming. Actually, Forest Cabin was an offline brand. They had 337 retail outlets. But when coronavirus hit, experts, many experts have predicted that 90% year on year revenue will decline for them. But they rushed to open the online stores and run live streams. And on Valentine's Day, their CEO has hosted two hour Taobao live streaming with 100 beauty advisors. And they moved 400K during that period alone. Instead of going down, their sales increased by 40%. 5% over last year during the Valentine's Day promotional period. So here's the video. 各位直播间里的伙伴们朋友们,我是林清轩的创始人孙来春。
So since the video is long, I'm, I'm just gonna skip to the next slide. And another in interesting example of how brands are using live streaming is Snap. So Mac has also hosted a live stream competition for makeup artists that was the first live streaming to promote the sales through a competition. So they invited several makeup artists to compete by showing off their skills. And the winner was determined by the number of sales that they have generated. So after the live streaming competition, many consumers went to offline stores to certify those products that they purchased. And the competition has more than 400 million views. And, and not only that, with people in lockdown and unable to go to department stores to consult with beauty advisors, many brands took the makeup tutorials online. And not only global brands, but also local brands used this tactic to help build their brand reputation as well as to promote their products. 